Hey everyone, we're back with another lesson from our friend Eric Perez. Thank you, Eric. He is the teacher at a Percussion Life channel. Go check that out. Um, in this video, he's going to show us some hand techniques and exercises uh, for conga drumming. Enjoy. Hey Kalani, thanks again for having me on World Drum Club. And my name is Eric Perez from A Percussion Life. Thank you guys for watching this video. So today, I actually just wanted to briefly talk to you about three little exercises that you can try to do to improve your hand technique. Now, hand technique is super, super important, especially when it comes to conga playing or just any hand drumming. You want basically your dominant hand to be just as strong as your non-dominant hand. And what I mean by that is the hand that you normally write with or use every day to open the door, brush your teeth, that hand, that hand that you use frequently. You want it just as strong as the hand that you don't use as frequently. Because when you get on this instrument, trust me, it is noticeable. You'll notice that one hand sounds stronger than the other and the tones sound better on one hand versus the other hand. So you always want to kind of match those two together. So we're going to talk about certain hand techniques and exercises that are just going to help you improve that area. So the first exercise is actually a stretching exercise, but you're actually going to do this on both hands and it's super major. So what you do is you're going to leave your hands at the edge of the drum and you're going to pick up each hand, each hand only by the wrist, only by the wrist. Don't try to focus on your arms and try to focus on any area and you're just going to keep going back and forth, back and forth. And the part that you're going to do is more resistance when you're going back and then when you're letting go, you can let go normally. But when you go back, you want that, you want to feel the burn. You want to feel the burn right there on your wrist. But that is super important. What you're going to do is really kind of loosen up those muscles, get that tension out of the way, so then you can start doing some regular things. The next major exercise is a palm, palm, finger, finger, or base, base, tip, tip whatever you want to call it. But basically what it is, you're going to do a bass tone with your dominant hand and then a bass tone with your non-dominant hand. You're going to leave it like that. But at this position, what you're going to do is you're going to do a tip or finger tone with your dominant hand and then a tip or finger tone with your non-dominant hand. So to put those together, it's going to sound like this. And if you notice, I'm not really leading with the bottom of my palm. I'm really focusing on just making a flat bass tone. And this is more of an exercise, not really the movement that you would do on a one one go where it's like something like this. But this exercise is going to help you develop that even easier. But it's more of an exaggeration. You want the bases to just land flat and you want to be able to extend your wrist to be able to do that fingertip movement. So to kind of do it slowly, you know, doing just a little circle going around, it's going to sound like this. Yeah, simple, simple, simple. But when you start going faster and you're really focusing on doing a bass that's really flat and doing a finger that's really exaggerated, what you're really doing is working that movement. It's really gonna help you with your technique, with your posture, just doing it this way. Now, the next one is really two in one. So it's a two for one special. Two for one special. You gotta love two for one specials. But it's really four opens. But the main focus here is you don't want to move your arms whatsoever. So it's going to be four opens, one with your dominant hand, one with your non-dominant hand, another with your dominant hand, finishing it off with your non-dominant hand. But again, my arm is not going to move. I'm just going to move my wrist. Again, after doing all this work, the stretching, the base and fingertips, 
Now my wrist should have developed a little bit where I could start doing some movements like this. So for example, and if you notice, each tone sounds the same. Sometimes, especially when you start working on this exercise, your non-diamond hand may sound a little bit weaker or a little bit softer, maybe not hitting as hard. If that's the kind of the sound, you just gotta keep on working for it. You just gotta keep on doing the base finger movements, kind of stretching, really working out those muscles. So then you can start responding when you're gonna do those movements. But again, if I'm really like this, if I'm only trying to move my wrist, Those opens are gonna sound so crisp, so clean. So again, four opens, doing it all over again. And then when you start speeding it up, that's where the spices start to come out. That's when it starts sounding a little bit more exciting. So something like this. It's so much fun. I'm not moving my arms. I'm really focusing on my wrist. It's all right there. And what it does is developing just your hand movements, hand technique, I'm telling you, super, super important. But when you're putting more stress on your arms, when you're putting more stress on your forearms rather than your wrist, that's where you start to experience certain injuries, develop bad techniques, just bad habits. So by just really focusing on your wrist, that's when those muscles really develop. But like I said, this is a two for one. Most of these exercises, you know, I want you to try to do these on one drum. But if you have the benefit of having two drums, normally you have that second drum on your dominant side. So since we're doing this exercise and we're leading off with our dominant hand, just start doing that first open with your dominant hand on that second drum. So in my case, I have a tumba. So what I do is I start that first hit with my dominant hand on the tumba and then I finish the rest all on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. Again, super, super fun. You gotta love it. It's pretty simple. But, you know, what now, what I'm doing is now working, you know, coming back and forth, trying to keep that pattern the same. Now, since this is a two for one, there is a second part to this. Again, I do have three drums right here. If you don't have three drums, it's okay, because what I normally did when I didn't have three drums, I would put the drum that I would normally put onto my dominant side, and I'll just move it to my non-dominant side and practice this same exercise that way. But the difference between this exercise is that rather than leading off with my dominant hand, I'm actually going to lead off with my non-dominant hand. So basically the opens are going to be non-dominant hand, dominant hand, non-dominant hand, dominant hand. So just to hear how that will sound here, it's gonna sound like this. It sounds exactly the same, but when you start to play it, you know, going back and forth, it's gonna be like this. You know, it's just a tongue twister. We have to kind of, you know, play with our minds as well because that's part of the hand technique is developing that muscle memory to go back and forth with our dominant hand to our non-dominant hand. So in that same case, in this second part, what I'm going to do is start it off with my non-dominant hand, but I'm gonna start doing that first open to the tumba to my non-dominant side. So yeah, just to kind of get the idea, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, it's the same exact thing, but you're starting it off at a different point with a different hand. 
That's all it is. But you start to develop those muscles and then you, uh, yeah, you start gliding on top of your drums. It's beautiful. You got to love it. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to World Drum Club. Again, Kalani, thank you so much for all the hard work that you're doing over there, man. I do appreciate you guys watching and taking the time to learn from this video. All right. Hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day. Thanks, Eric. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Everybody go to a percussion live channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and support Eric in any way that you can. Also support this channel, World Drum Club. We do appreciate those of you who have been stepping up lately. We've been getting more support, uh, but especially during these challenging times, we need everybody to step up and show your support for freelancers and artists and musicians of all types across the whole spectrum. So we hope you appreciate this channel. Show your appreciation by going to patreon.com slash Kalani and chipping in. You get benefits. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in a future video.